Jackie Chan would announce that he would donate the entirety of his reported $350 million net worth to charity and not pass it on to his son JC. Do you know how mad you have to be to not let your, your bro, when you die, you not even here no more. And you don't even want me to have what, bruh. All right, man, Sonny V2, the tragic tale of Jackie Chan's son. I didn't even know Jackie Chan had a son. There's a tragic tale to it. I didn't know that. Let's get it. Let's watch. Jackie Chan's only son hasn't had the easiest life. Between an unsuccessful film career and the time he spent in prison, JC you Chan has prison? been unable to live up to the high standard set by his father, and it all began with JC's luxury upbringing after his birth in 1982. At this point in time, Jackie Chan was permanently busy with acting and would therefore spend only two weeks per year with his son, which was- God damn. I mean, you get in a bag for your family, but at what cost? Two weeks a year? There's 52 weeks. Nigga went 50 weeks a year without seeing his father. God damn. Quote, contained in the household as they were too famous to go outside. His father's busy schedule meant that JC was raised almost entirely by his mother, who began to spoil him with luxuries afforded by Jackie Chan's fame and fortune. Jackie wrote in his memoir, when he was little, JC never had to worry about having enough food, how to pay his school fees, or if he needed to be driven anywhere. I would arrange it all. I regretted that later. No one should have such a good life from their birth. Jackie Chan clearly believed this as his upbringing was almost the opposite. Brought up in dirt Dirt poor conditions by refugee parents who couldn't even afford to pay for his birth, Jackie Chan Damn. was forced to develop discipline as well as an appreciation for scarcity. In addition to this, Jackie Chan's youth consisted of drama training all day long from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. with breaks for lunch and dinner. Jesus. When he misbehaved, he was beaten with canes. When he fell ill, he was told to suck it up, which Jackie Chan has since highlighted as beneficial in comparison to his son's upbringing. I really thank you, my teacher, that tortured me, becoming Really, we never drop one rice on the table. Whenever I go back my home, I see my son's shoes, one like this, one like this. <laughs> one socks, not the socks. No discipline. JC's cushy childhood led Jackie Chan Damn. to write in his book when he was a teenager. I listen, listen, there's, there's gotta be a healthy medium. I'm not gonna lie. Like I grew up without having much, you know what I'm saying? My mama did what she can, you know? Made me to the person I am, you know? Great fucking person. But at the also at the same time, some of that struggle comes with trauma. And I, if I do have kids, I don't want that for my future kids. But you can't you can't give them too much or t like I feel like giving them too much will make for an undisciplined child. But giving them too little when you have enough to give them more is just like is there's no reason to make them struggle as much as you did you see what i'm saying so you got to find like a you got to find a healthy medium when it comes to a child i definitely didn't think jc was pushing himself hard enough i'd work all day go jogging at night then get back and say that he'd gone to bed even though it was only nine something i'd grumble he's asleep already i'd storm out in a bad mood and go jogging again thinking when i was his age i wished he could follow me around all day to see how much i did sometimes i'll have eight meetings in a row right up until midnight then i'll go home do some exercise exercise and read scripts. JC's clear lack of drive and ambition in comparison to his father led JC to drop out of college at the end of his first year, stating, I wanted to be a musician. All you can see in Virginia is sheep, although other sources state that he was expelled from the school as a result of excessive drinking, unclean living conditions, and two semesters worth of unwarranted absences. Jesus. JC's desire to become a musician was against the will of Jackie, who had not wished to see their son in show business. He wanted JC to be a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor, as JC's mother had quote already lost her husband to this profession despite the wishes Damn. of his parents jc moved from los angeles to hong kong in 2004 where he planned on cultivating his own successful story in music stating it is my hope to become famous based on my own abilities rather than rely on my image jc was so confident in moving to china that he gave up his american nationality in exchange for chinese nationality however it's possible that this choice came into question after he'd released his first album described in reviews as being a horrid absolute 
absolute waste of money. The album simply Damn. titled JC was a commercial failure. The reason for this as described by JC himself was because Hong Kong is different from other places. You need to do music and movies, leading JC to appear in his first film titled The Twins Effect 2, which received an IMDb rating of less than 5 out of 10 stars. Damn. And while it'd be ridiculous to expect an Avengers level performance from JC's first on-screen appearance, the movies which followed weren't that much better. He'd appear alongside his father for Jackie Chan's 100th movie titled 1911 Revolution, yet the collaboration resulted in Jackie Chan's least financially successful and least positively received picture to date, grossing Damn. over $127,000 before receiving a score of 8% on Rotten Tomato. Damn, that, that. That's a, you like bad luck for real at this point. God damn. One year later, JC would play the main character in a movie called Double Trouble, which also entered media headlines after grossing an even more pitiful $9,000 during its first two weeks, making a nine bands in two weeks for a full movie. That's that's insane. Nine bands in two weeks is 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 disrespectful. That's like a in a face, bro. That's a like like a like bro. Hey, psst. I'm not one to uh gossip, but I heard you wasn't following me on Twitter and Instagram, and you wasn't updated when I wasn't able to post on YouTube, and you thought I was gone. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's that simple. Enjoy the rest of the vid at one of the biggest box office flops in history. To add insult to injury, JC would then play the main role in a movie called Whoever, which despite a government mandate forcing it to be played in half of the country's cinemas, failed to crack the Chinese top 10 and has received only 15 ratings on IMDb since its release in 2012. The only positive news for JC seemed to have been coming from his music career as his second studio album would top Taiwanese charts in 2010, although it seems the album hasn't achieved much long-term success as there's not even a single online review for the music, and it took about 30 minutes of digging just to find the track list. Damn. The performance of the album was unimportant anyway, because on the 14th of August 2014, JC would find himself in a profound new media scandal, making every prior controversy seem insignificant. Police would upload footage of JC Chan being arrested at his parents' $10 million luxury Beijing apartment, during which he'd admit to having approximately 100 grams of weed in his cupboard. This was extra bad for the Chan family's reputation reputation, as Damn. Jackie Chan had been China's official anti-drug ambassador since 2009. Damn. For this reason, Jackie Chan would take to social media to apologize, writing, For my son JC to get into such trouble, I'm very angry and astonished. As a public figure, I'm ashamed. As a father, I'm heartbroken. I can't begin to describe his mother's pain. I failed to be a good father and I deserve the blame. I will take the responsibility and apologize to the public on behalf of JC. In the process, Jackie practically disowned his son, stating that he hadn't and didn't plan on using any of his connections to lessen JC's sentence. I have Damn. not visited him even till now. I did not even use any connections to call anyone. If JC only went in jail for one week or 10 days, how would the public look at us? We are public figures and all the more we have to abide by the laws, which was accompanied by Jackie Chan somewhat hilariously telling JC's lawyer to slap him twice for me. While Damn. Jackie Chan wanted absolutely nothing to do with JC, the Chinese government took the opposite approach, making a public anti-drug example out of JC by televising the the trial, which would happen approximately four months after his arrest. JC was sentenced to six months in prison and was ordered to pay a $320 fine for possession as well as the crime of sheltering others to take drugs. JC took this sentence humbly, stating, I have broken the law and should be punished. Damn. When I return to society, I will not repeat this because I have let my family and friends down yet again, although this wasn't enough to satisfy his parents, who didn't even attend the trial. Whilst in prison, JC would send letters to his mother in which he explained that he experimented with drugs drugs because of the bad crowd he was mixing with, and started relying on drugs to soothe himself whenever he felt upset. Only 320? Hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie, I would have paid two bands. I would have paid two, listen, I would have paid two bands and tried to not do any time at all. Hey, if I slide y'all like three times the amount, can I just not go to jail? Can I do that? I, four, four bands? I'll give you four. I don't want to go to jail. Hey, listen. Listen, I don't, hey, that's why you never catch me doing nothing illegal. Uh, Simba do not want to go to jail. 
JC also wrote about the struggles he faced growing up in a famous family and revealed that the expectations of fame placed a lot of pressure on him. He then expressed his unhappiness with Jackie for not showing him enough concern. However, his father wasn't rushing to offer any kind of sympathy. Jackie Chan would state in an interview, I hope to be an anti-drug ambassador for life. I even hope that after JC is out, he can be an anti-drug ambassador too, telling everyone to stay away from drugs, which was followed by Jackie stating publicly that he supports the death penalty for certain serious offenses. Fences. Additionally, Jackie Chan would announce that he would donate the entirety of his reported $350 million net worth to charity and not pass it on to his son JC. Bruh. Do you know how mad you have to be to not let your, your bro when you die? Like, you gonna die. Like, death. You not even here no more. And you don't even want me to have what, bruh. I don't care how mad I get at my children, bro. Bro, all of it, to, or just or, or not even half, not nothing, then he will just be wasting my money. It's not even your money no more, bro. You'll be dead after death, after die. You won't want to give him, uh, bro. Oh, no, bro, listen. At, at this point, you got to fight me, bro. Because what the hell? Why'd you even have me? You had, you put me on this earth for no reason. Like, damn, gang. I, no, I, I'd, have, I'd have been upset, bro. I would, I would have been sick. I would have been sick to my fucking stomach. Yeah, adding, if he is capable, he can make his own money. If he is not, then he will just be wasting my money. The problem is, JC's earning capacity has been stifled pretty severely as a result of the public sentencing. For example, in the three years prior to his arrest, JC acted in 10 different movies. However, since his imprisonment almost 10 years ago, he's appeared in only three films, one of which he wasn't even credited for as a result of the scandal. Damn. JC also lost endorsements from Adidas, Nivea, Yishion. I what did you say? For as a result of the scandal. JC also lost endorsements from Adidas, Adidas, Nivea, Yishion, Johnson & Johnson contact lenses, Stride Gum, KFC, and Chevrolet, with this rock bottom causing him to return to America, even though he was no longer a citizen there. The father and son still share a residence in Hong Kong, though they don't spend much time together. As an actor, a businessman, and his city's unofficial goodwill ambassador at large, Jackie Chan has a busy schedule. The two seem to have reconciled since JC moved back to the USA, yet JC continues to to differ himself, stating, I don't want to always follow my dad's footsteps. I want to be different, adding that he's tired of being a person in his father's shadow. Since moving back to the US, JC has made efforts to turn his life around, directing his first film in 2021 titled Goodnight Beijing, and according to IMDb, he has another two movies on the way. Well, I mean, he's trying. He's trying. But to not give me 350 million after you perish and no longer can use it is crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I, hey, listen, I don't care what I did. Unless it's murder. Like, it's just, it's, it was, hey, it's weed, but like, damn. I know it's a illegal over there, but damn, I can't get 350 because of, because of the weed? <laughs> Shit. But nah, W video from Sunny, man.